Um, oh yeah, no. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Um, let's let's talk about our long lost uh, franchise that everyone was pretty sure was basically dead at this point. Uh, Metroid's back. It has a has a new two point five D game. I guess that's what people kind of refer to it nowadays. Um, yeah, it, it's it looks like a regular two D Metroid game. Um, big emphasis on being chased by a big giant scary robot, kind of like a stalker type enemy you'd see in a horror game. Mm-hmm. And then they they kind of even done that previously with um, in, in Metroid Fusion there was like a very powerful enemy you couldn't really fuck with too much. Um, I believe it was called the Sax. Uh, the saxophone. Yeah, I thought that's what I called it as a kid because that was the funniest shit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it has has some cool additions in it. There's there's melee combat, which I guess they added in the Samus Returns remake on 3DS. There's parrying. Um, it's coming out in what month is ten? Is that October? I'm bad at this. Yeah, October. 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 There we go. There's, Scary. There is a there is a lot of games coming out in October. I'm like, surprised I'm, how much shit is, yeah. Yeah, it's it, there's so many things coming out in October. I'm surprised. But I mean, at the same time, I'm not surprised because it seems like Q3 and Q4 of 2021 is like a lot of like the game release windows, not just for the holiday season, but like because the pandemic pushed so many things back, you know? Mm-hmm. So... Let's see. Oh, and they also announced, like, yes, we are still working on Metroid 4. I know we announced that forever ago, mm-hmm. uh, but still working on it, which, which, which to me, um, I mean, I'll just play games when they come out. I'm not going to spend all my time on Reset Era or, or Game Facts, God forbid, if you want to spend your time on Game Facts. Uh, just going just like, where is this game? I need it now. I'm just like, I don't know. I'll, I'll wait till it says like it's coming I, out next month. I'm like, cool. I'll play it. Yeah, then. that's that's I, I have a friend who has the same strategy and I, I literally have adopted that strategy too, where I literally like I will try to forget about a game entirely. And then it's like, oh, guess what? It's coming out next month. And I'm just like, oh, yay. Hype. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> but even on like the other end, just like even pragmatically speaking, I'm just like, yeah, maybe don't announce your game like entirely way too ahead because then you know you're going to deal with people who are just going to harass you the whole time just just wait till it's done basically yeah exactly yeah. but uh any big metroid thoughts atma um i like metroid whoa <laughs> uh controversy I, I yeah yeah no I, i'm really um really going out there wild opinions right now uh <laughs> i I actually prefer 2D Metroid to the Metroid Prime games. Um, I like the Prime games. They're, they're great. But uh, Super Metroid was my jam. Um, so getting a new 2D Metroid is really exciting for me. I haven't played anything since Fusion. I Samus Returns was always on like my... Like I almost said bucket list, but it's not quite that. It's just the thing. <laughs> uh, you know that that list of games. Like I'll I'll get to that eventually. And then you know it was on the 3ds, and then I got a Switch, and I forgot my 3ds existed because everything's on Switch now. And so like I heard Samus Returns was good. I just never got around to playing it, mostly mm-hmm. because I think I had the real like archaic sort of primal fear of metroid 2 for some reason like the game boy because it was like just green and black when i tried to play metroid 2 on the game boy it scared the shit out of me as a kid Mm -hmm. oh wow and so i guess there was sort of like general instinct of like i don't want to play this it's going to scare me when like Mm -hmm. it probably won't Mm -hmm. i it's funny it's funny um that you say like super super metroid is your jam and everything so i actually never really played metroid growing up i i only ever know knew the metroid prime games because my brother liked to play those um and uh i i actually played through a little bit a good chunk of super metroid by doing it on the super nintendo simulator on on the switch and um, I think I have a, a, a new appreciation for those kinds of games. And I actually really, I found out that I really enjoyed them because not because I ever played, not because I played Super Metroid, but because in the past I've played, um, what was that one game? It was like, it was like Castlevania, but not really. It's like something, you, something. Uh, was it a callback or did it come out back in the day? 
it was it was like a remake of of a, of a classic game. I have my Steam up. I can actually Are tell you. Are you talking about Axiom game. Verge? Maybe. No, I was I it. Was it Bloodstained? Bloodstained. Thank you. Yeah, it was Bloodstained. So I literally I played Bloodstained, like the remake of the original. Um, freaking oh. loved that game. I I absolutely loved that game. It was so much fun. Um, and then I also played uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow: Mirror of Fate which was a also just like like a side scroller but also you know a metro a castlevania classic castlevania game and i really really enjoyed that one um and then i and then i'm like oh i want to try out like a classic metroid game so let's do super metroid and i was like really enjoying it i was like oh this is this is awesome and then same with like games like ari and the and the blind forest and and the will of the wisps similar kind of aspects Mm -hmm. um so uh, I, I I didn't uh, originally know, but this was something I discovered about myself fairly recently that I like those kinds of games, uh, and it was just unlocked inside of me. <laughs> so uh, the, the the most important question I have to ask: Have you mm-hmm. played Hollow Knight? Ooh. I I have a little bit. So I've I did. I got, I think I got through like two parts of it, and I got stuck, and I haven't gone back since. I, so I I think it's one of those things that I literally have forgotten all about it, and I just need to start it over and go and go and do it fresh. It is definitely I, easy to get stuck in that. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of anxiety about starting Hollow Knight because, like, I love the Souls games, but I have to like really hype myself up to be like be in the mood for them. I'm just like, oh fuck, this is gonna be a hard time. I'm gonna have to Google some shit. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, I gotta prepare myself. And like, Hollow Knight is like, I, I kind of know like the rough format it's gonna be going for. I'm just like, yeah, it's gonna be some new stuff I have to get used to. I'm just like, eh. But I'll, I'll, I'll play it not, eventually. It's not nearly as bad as a Souls game. Like, it is okay. a lot more user friendly than. Yeah. It, it definitely has elements of Souls, but it is much closer to like Metroid or Castlevania than like hate yourself souls yeah you want to you want to you want a souls game that's like uh like that just play freaking um what is it blasphemous or or salt and sanctuary you know yeah salt and sanctuary yeah i can't say it salt and sanctuary is actually pretty good and they announced the uh what's the sequel salt and sacrifice i believe is the second yeah I I, I I have salt and sanctuary but i haven't been able to get through it it's just there's so many games so many oh. games <laughs> also, want to em- emphasize for everyone: uh, Ori in the Blind Forest and Ori and uh, Will of the Wisps, Wisp. mm-hmm. very fucking good games. Absolutely, I have recommend. Played, they're, they're beautiful I've, too. Yeah, I've played Blind Forest. I do eventually want to go uh, go in and play Will of the Wisps. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to need yeah. some tissues. Oh, no. <laughs> it, it's going to be sad. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't um, tell me you- that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm excited for a new Metroid game. Excited it's a 2D. As much as I enjoyed um, Metroid Prime, I feel like first person isn't necessarily conducive for exploration games because you're trying to look for like every detail and the FOV is kind of limited. Um, I did like scanning for stuff. They had cool little lore stuff you could find everywhere. Mm-hmm. I st- maybe, maybe this is a weird take. I don't necessarily consider metroid prime to be a first person shooter even though you're technically shooting things in the first person perspective it's just Mm -hmm. not like one of your primary verbs you kind of do it once in a while or when you run into like a legit encounter not just like a random little spiky dude roaming around minding his own business before you blow it up it's a first person 3d platformer you know so it's like yeah i think it was described as first person adventure at one point oh okay (laughs) that's I, I, <laughs> yeah like it's it's oh, it's not a it's not a shooter it, it's first person for sure also and you shoot things but not a shooter i will say that when you do upgrade things in uh metroid prime it's pretty badass oh just it's like, pretty fucking cool the, the animations oh, yeah. for suit upgrades is just great <laughs> i i love the endless questions people came up with just uh how does samus physically fit into the morph ball she converted into energy if, if Samus is, is pregnant while she goes into the morph ball, what happens to the baby? Oh my god. <laughs> such a, the look on your face off. <laughs> why, for, why do people... No, stop. For, for what it's worth, I didn't come up with it. This, this is just <laughs> shit I've seen. 
First of all, Sam Samus is very careful and she's not just gonna get pregnant and go on a mission. I'm sorry. Like <laughs> <laughs> You crazy. You crazy. Be responsible. Be responsible. <laughs> uh, don't play uh, other M. Apparently other M's bad. I I've kind of steered clear. 